I'm TV6 meteorologist Eric DeBroca, and here's your latest weather on demand forecast. Grab the umbrella for today, but you won't need it the whole day, especially the first half, as we will have partial clearing later on this afternoon as a cold front swipes by. That's going to allow much less humid conditions to be with us throughout really the rest of the week, setting up a great uh, end of July forecast. Right now we're in between that system though where rain to our west, rain to our east, a little bit of rain showers in the central. But let me show you this off to the east here. Very strong band moved through a few hours ago through the St. Ignis, Sault Ste. Marie area, even downstate as well. Another line of storms that we're tracking is going farther west than that. But even with these uh, local thunderstorms, we've seen wind gusts in excess of 25 miles an hour, as was the case in Newberry. And notice too also, the uh, temperatures were so cool significantly. By the, by the rain, only 63, compare that with Lance's 73, and Marquette's 70. So we see that uh, temperatures are warming off to the south and west, but look even farther north, we see, we can see some evidence of this cool front, not gonna, not very strong, it's not gonna bring very cold temperatures like this last one did last week, but it will definitely change a few things in that it will clear us out for a good number of days, and you can already see that happening. Uh, the sharp line here in the arrowhead of Minnesota, just uh, a few miles north of the Twin Cities, once that front moves through, we're talking about a much clearer, drier day. That's why I've just included the very edge of the western portion of the UP and that storm threat. Really, for the rest of us, it's going to be in the south and the east that's going to be seeing the rain showers. Once we get into later on tonight, the, cool, the cooler and somewhat drier air moves in. And so we are in store for a beautiful Thursday. We, we will have some afternoon clouds develop, especially along the lakes, both of them, but we will have a lake component to the north as the high pressure is off to our west. Here are your highs though for Wednesday. Uh, Summer-like, that's for sure, and humidity, you're going to be able to feel that. 82 from Iron Mountain, 79 from Marquette, 75 from Newberry, and a little bit cooler in the Keweenaw Peninsula, 76 from Houghton, but look at tomorrow. In the north, we're talking about upper 60s once again, so slightly below average temperatures now. And the warmest readings will be found south, particularly inland, away from the lakes. 78 closer to Iron Mountain and Iron River area. Now your TV six-day forecast. We can expect, once we clear out today, look at how uh, tranquil the rest of the week is. And seasonable, really. Temperatures in the upper 70s to near 80, both Friday and Saturday, slowly warming into the 80s, uh, low 80s on Sunday. And that comes with our next chance of rain late Sunday night into Monday. But even that, not a huge threat. So overall, looking dry.